so much of what we've been talking about today is empowering women yes. and what companies are doing in terms of that with their advertising and marketing. What are you guys doing with it? Well, so one example that we do is uh, just within the last year, we went forward with something that I thought our CEO was quite brave in coming out with, which was 16 weeks of paid leave for men and women regardless of the issue. So if your family issue, you need to be caring for an elder parent or 16 weeks of paid leave. That was really quite extraordinary. And I can't tell you the response from our people was amazing. And it was really, she, she showed a lot of courage in doing it. And I think it's paid off in dividends for our people who really see it as a reason to stay there and their loyalty and affinity to the firm is stronger. How are you guys bringing the whole empowering women, empowering minorities into your advertising and marketing with companies? How, how have you seen that change? Well, I think it's, I've definitely seen it change. And yeah. I think that today's examples were really good examples. And I think it's about trying to understand what are the skill sets we need to solve the problems in the future. And those skill sets are things that we want to try to highlight and profile and recognize. Yeah. So even, you know, math, science, all the STEM skills that are really important for uh, analytics and cognitive right. and AI and all the things that are that the marketing organizations are facing, but every organization is facing it. So that's the that's the kind of thing we need to be holding up examples so people can see there are people who are doing this and are being wildly successful doing it. Talk about how you guys prioritize your customers. Yep. What goes into that? Yeah. So. One, all of our customers are important. Okay. So where we prioritize is actually on how to reach them and how to serve them. Okay. Our clients, uh, we serve 85% of the Fortune 500 and they have very different issues. Uh, and their issues are in different places around the world. So what we need to think about are, you know, what's the way in which they want to be engaged with? Where do they want to be engaged with? Uh, so that's the how, how we think about the prioritization and then how we think about engaging with them. And the biggest component of that is be where they are. Yeah. So for one example of that is we uh, put our, our content, our insights uh, on, in the Wall Street Journal because that's where they are. The right. leaders we want to reach, the business C-suite leaders that are facing tough issues issues who are looking for advice and counsel. We want we want to be where they're looking for that right. advice. And so whether it's Wall Street or Fortune, we put ourselves into those environments to engage with them that way. Absolutely. How do you guys use digital to help you? We are in the middle of a digital transformation. And the, the reason it's required is that technology has never been more important to, hard to how keep it's hard to keep up. And it's changing all the boundaries. So when you think about what it is that companies need to do, you're no longer, so we're a professional services firm and we're no longer compared to the professional services firm down the street. We're compared to the best brands in the world and our employees and our customers have to have an experience that is one entices me to want to be part of it, right? And then engages me. The, the greatest part about digital is it allows for that if you get them in the right spot with the right content that matters to them. And so for us, if those are issues like Internet of Things or uh, driverless cars, we want to have that content when our clients want that content. So putting it in the right places, so digital is an incredibly important aspect, but it's also important in terms of how you communicate with them and give them an opportunity to engage. Digital's changed that, right? Digital's allowed yeah. for the conversation to be two-way and interactive and all the time. And, and that's a challenge, but it's also a huge opportunity. What are some of your priorities heading into next year with your marketing and advertising? Well, one of them is that we need to globalize our, our insights. We're an insight company. We bring insights to clients around how the world is changing and how to address their issues. So how do you do that? Well, so we, we have a we have co great content all around the world, but we need to make sure that all of our content is based on uh, a global knowledge base, but yet locally relevant. It needs right. to matter in the market that it's in. And so that is an effort underway yeah. right now to make sure that we really globalize our, our insights uh, for the firm. The next one is really transforming, reinventing, if you will, how we do marketing. So we spent the last two years transforming our organization to be more centralized, streamlined, 
uh, the things that we were doing, make sure our campaigns were more focused around signature issues. Uh, but now we need to focus on how to use AI and cognitive to change the way we reach our customers and how we engage with them and extend the things that they're interested in so we can learn more about them and be there when they need us to be there. When you try to explain to someone what your everyday life is like within your job, what do you say? Because my, I feel like you have so much under your wing. Yeah, my job is to my job is to capture the hearts and minds of our employees and our customers. And, and I need to, to come with the insight that really helps me uh, reach them when they need it and want it and, and I can help make an impact for them. Uh, our purpose statement is to make an impact that matters and we want to make an impact that matters on their toughest problems. We want to make an impact that matters on our people, uh, on our communities. And so for us, it, that using that as our lens, if I want to capture my, your heart and mind around making an impact, I want to know what do you care about.